So we've watched our first video on ABCDE approach to interpreting chest x-rays. Let's look at some of the uh, more abnormal ones we see on a day-to-day -day basis. So this is a 63-year-old man who is in ICU. He is having a chest radiograph to confirm the position of his NG tube that's just been sighted. So starting with our ABCD approach, before we do that, we're going to look at the quality of the film. So this film looks adequately inspired. You can see 10 to 11 uh, posterior ribs in this radiograph. It's adequately exposed um, in all areas in, in terms of the X-ray strength. Uh, you cannot see all the areas you want to see. You're probably missing the costophrenic angles on both sides uh, due to the crop of the X-ray. Uh, so you couldn't really comment on if there was any sort of um, pleural effusion or anything down there, or any consolidative processes in, in those angles, or blunting as you might call them. Um, and in terms of rotation, his clavicles look like they are roughly equidistant to his spinous processes. So moving on to airway then, you can't really see his trachea terribly well, but there's a big clue as to its, uh, its course. You have um, a tube sitting at the trachea that then is going down the left main bronchus and then buckling into the right main bronchus. You can see it protruding down there uh, into the lower right lung field. Um, we're not going to ignore this, we're going to come back to it, but we're going to be systematic and go for uh, the lung fields now. So the lung fields look pretty clear, there could be a bit of um, opacification in that right upper zone. Uh, it's hard to know that could be uh, venous congestion, it could be your vessels being congested because this man does have our next point, cardiomegaly. Uh, he's got uh, a large heart that is greater than 50% of his uh, thoracic diameter. Um, and also the telltale signs of cardiac surgery. He's got cardiac wires, cardiac surgery wires, sternotomy wire for a very typical appearance. He's also got a little bit of artifact um, to the left hand side of the third sternotomy wire um, and that could be a remnant of a surgery, it could be something else entirely but um, I'm not really quite sure what that is. In terms of his bones then, going on to his ribs, clavicles don't look broken and he doesn't really have any obvious fractures of his ribs. So then we're going to point out all the salient artifacts, so we're going to point out those stenotomy wires and we're going to point out that he has ECG lead artifact in his left and his right zones and the leads thereafter. Um, in terms of anything in the subcutaneous tissue, there's nothing seemingly there like subcutaneous emphysema. So back to our elephant in the room, uh, he does have an NG tube that seems to be uh, misplaced. It is not in his gastrointestinal system, it seems to be in his trachea, buckling down the left main bronchus and then into the right. So this needs to be obviously removed and uh, replaced in his enteral system. So in summary of this chest radiograph, this gentleman has an NG tube in both of his bronchi. Lung fields, there's nothing specific on it, potentially some right-sided consolidation in the upper lobe. He's got cardiomegaly, he's got sternotomy wires. He also has ECG artifacts and leads, and his bones show nil specific in his ribs or clavicles. You don't want to miss anything, so you're going to make note that there is an artifact to the left uh, of the third sternotomy wire uh, in the cardiac region. You're going to take a history from the patient to see what type of cardiac surgery he's had. You're going to look at the chest to see if it's any external artifact um, or if there's anything in his occupational history, such as being a welder or anything where using metal um, that could have caused this. And if you're still not satisfied with what it is, you're going to ask for a radiological opinion and follow up. Thank you for watching. So there's plenty more chest radiographs and other modalities on their way to you. Uh, hit subscribe, hit the notifications button to find out whenever they're available.